Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to set up multi-linked um, fields within your responsive Premium Press team. Now what I'm referring to here is that if I show you is the ability to link um, listing field options together. So in this example what I'm going to show you is how to link for example a taxonomy um, for car make and I'm going to link that to car model. So the, basically the user would select a car make, for example we've got Ford here, we've got BMW. Um, and then on, upon the user selection, um, the options in the link uh, in the field below, which would be car model, will obviously change and be adjusted um, to suit the uh, subcategories for the the, uh, the 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 primary category. So as you can see, we've got BMW, and I've obviously got cars um, with the car model from the BMW. And if I select Ford, I'm obviously going to get um, car models of Ford. So what I'm going to show you is how I've set this up um, and how to, to to add that to your website and obviously use these advanced search options to link that as well. So if we go into the admin area firstly, um, under the theme options, you'll see under my general setup tab, I have the taxonomies um, tab at the top right. Now to use this feature, um, you must use the taxonomies plugin because the linkage for these fields is based on a taxonomy. So if I show you um, a taxonomy listing under my listing manager I've got car make and car model so I'll just quickly show you under the car make which is the primary one I've got the the names of the categories so we've got um, cars here we've got BMW and Ford under my car model I've got again BMW and Ford but this time I've got the subcategories so what happens is the user would make a selection from the car make so BMW or Ford the system would then check for the model will check for the same category name um, that we've got set here in the model and then display all of the subcategories for that. So that's the way that the linkage is between them. They search for the name um, of the category and then it will display the subcategory um, elements. So obviously we've got BMW in my form and then obviously underneath there we're going to get all of the values that are found for BMW. So in the admin area you can see BMW we've got um, um, X5 and Z4 and obviously here for BMW we've got X5 and Z4. So, to set this up, the first thing you need to do is install the Taxonomies plugin. So under the theme options, we're going to click on um, Extra Plugins. And under the Extra Plugin options, this will show you all of the extra plugins that are provided by Premium Press. Under the um, M MISC, you're going to click on this Taxonomies plugin. You want to click it, then you want to install it. So as you can see, I've got it installed already, but you will click here to install now and install this option. Once you've installed it on the general setup tab on the top right, you should now see this taxonomies option here. And this will allow you to set up your new taxonomies. So what I've added is a make and model. So make sure that you add something um, obviously that's suitable for your website. So I'm just creating an example and the easiest example for me to think of at the moment would be a make and model um, combination so this is why I've used make a model obviously you can set anything you like but make sure that obviously the taxonomy keys um, are no greater than three characters in length do not include any foreign characters um, spacing or any special characters so I've added make a model once you've added these two values or once you've added your keys they will then appear under the listing manager options so if you click on listing manager you should see them on the on the left hand side under the options so you can see now I've got make a model and obviously once you click on them you can start adding your taxonomy options so basically your selection box options so as you can see for my make I've added BMW and Ford and under the model again I've added BMW and Ford but this time I've added subcategories for the actual models so I've added X5 and Z4 for BMW and I've added a Fiesta and the Focus for Ford. So what happens is again, once the user selects the primary category value, which would be under the make, the model will then find the same matching name for the parent category, which would be BMW, and display the subcategories, which would be X5 and 4. So that's how it's linked. They're linked from the name um, value. So you just need to make sure the name are exactly the same. They must be exactly the same. So that the value must be capital BMW, not lowercase BMW. It must start um, with exactly the same name as you have it under the make. So it's very important that this very case is case sensitive. So ensure that the values um, in the first one, in this example, make match the same values in the model. Okay. So once we've gone past that, now we're going to add, add the fields to our website. So under the theme options again, under my listing setup, 
I've got my custom fields. This is where I've added the fields, and this means they will then show up on my actual um, listing form. So when I edit a listing or add a new listing, so if I add a new listing, you can see they're going to show up here. So you've got car make and car model. Again, if we select the value, it will then find the subcategories from the make and the model. So to add these fields, which is these two fields here to my listing form, I must first add the values under the custom field option under the listing setup. So in this form here, I will click on new field. I will then select a caption. So I've added car. Well, I'll just show you what I've done. Car make. So here we go. If I just edit this form, I've added car make. I've selected the field type taxonomy. I've entered the taxonomy that I'm going to be using. In this case, is the, the make taxonomy. I'm linking it linked with the model taxonomy. Under the model taxonomy, the same thing happens again. Display caption car model, but this time I'm not linking the model because obviously the, the linkage is between the car make. So the user would select the car make first, and then they would select the model. They wouldn't select the model then the make. Okay, uh, you can see once a um, taxonomy has been linked, you'll get this little text display linked with model, just so that you know this one has been linked. So once you've set up these two values here, then obviously they will be displayed on this form. Okay, so now that the form has been added, obviously the user can then create listings and edit listings, uh, and obviously those values will be adjustable. So if I click on edit this listing, as you can see now I can adjust these values. So once I've added the listings, I may want to search for those listings. So this is when I would then start adding my fields to my advanced search form. So on the right hand side here, you can see I've added car make and car model. If I go back to the admin under general setup, advanced search, I've done exactly the same for car make and car model. If I show you the options I've set, I've set um, a new taxonomy. So at the bottom in the green buttons, I've added add taxonomy field. I've added one for make and one for model. I've simply selected the taxonomy make um, and I've pressed the linked taxonomy and I've linked that to model. So that's for car make. For car model, I've done exactly the same, but this time I've not so I've selected this field is not linked because obviously again we're not linking model to make, we're linking make to model. So that's how I've set up the car make and car model. And what that lets me do if I change the name of this field to afford. for Fiesta, click on save changes, it will let me search for um, values that meet this criteria. So I have, added, I have not added any BMW values, so I've searched for BMW, we have no values found. I'm now going to search for Ford, obviously now I have all the Fords, but obviously again I want to break that down to Ford, and I'm going to go Ford Focus, so there's no Ford Focuses, I'm going to go for Ford, and I'm going to go for Fiesta and now I have Ford Fiesta. So it lets you obviously break down those values again and let you search for specific um, taxonomy values. So it's a very kind of uh, quick video tutorial but it gives you a basic idea of how to set up um, taxonomies and linked taxonomies with the new responsive framework.